back to another amazing episode of the Elite Seller Show. Today's guest is Ali Ramirez with Sellers Funding, and we're going to be talking about making work and capital work for you. So Ali, she's been in the e-com space for several years now. She has a ton of experience. She currently works over at Sellers Funding. I met the whole team. They're very close with Wizards of Amazon. They're actually a super cool group. And we're going to be talking about how uh, we can make work and capital work for your business and how you can actually expand your business, help you grow your business, and all the wonderful ways that you can actually uh, improve the way that your business actually uh, generates revenue uh, in the year 2022. So, Ali, I'll let you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about Sellers Funding and where we can go from here. Awesome. Thank you, Joshua. Really, really happy to be here. Um, and yeah, for Sellers Funding, we have been around for about four years. Uh, I've been around close to two years from those. So it's very, very exciting to be in a growing company. Uh, it's been a trajectory and a, just a beautiful <laughs> view of growth. Um, and yeah, just e-com space is where it's at right now. You know that we know that, right. And that's why we're all listening to the podcast. So we just want to help any seller out there grow their business and be as successful as it can be. Yeah. And speaking of beautiful views for the people that are actually watching this on YouTube, she's actually in her office right now. And, uh, in Miami, Florida, the view is spectacular. I wish I could actually turn my own laptop around so you guys can see the view here in Mexico. Uh, but we're not here to talk about landscapes. We are here to talk about navigating the landscape of, uh, generating finance and generating uh, capital for your business. So tell us a little bit about this. Like, how does this actually work? How does it benefit Amazon sellers? And like, what does it take to actually get required? Absolutely. So one of the biggest things that we found, and we actually did a study in um, 2019 to 2020, we kind of looked at what our sellers looked like in terms of growth. And we found that about 106, there was a growth of 160% of our sellers that were using working capital. So it's just really, really huge to see what just a little bit or a lot of working capital can do for somebody's business. Because we've also found that most businesses fail, not necessarily because you, um, you know, don't have the right product or the right people in place, but mainly because of timing and because of running out of capital, whether that was for advertising or for inventory or for research and development, just timing and money are the top reasons why startup fails. So that's where seller funding comes in. And where do you, where do you see in your experience of working at sellers funding for two plus years, where do you see that most Amazon sellers are coming to you in regards to needing capital? Which avenue? Would you say it's in the advertising side? Would you say it's in the getting more inventory? Would you say it's just like growth and expansion, 3PL services? Where do you guys see the biggest uh, outreach coming from? I would say inventory is definitely one of our biggest things, but the beauty of sellers funding working capital is we don't make you use it for something specific. You can use it for advertising, you can use it for uh, inventory, for R&D, or for just new personnel. Uh, as long as it's for the growth of your business, we're not going to make you do that. But for the most part, people are looking to grow in terms of how much inventory they're going to do. Typically around you know, close to the end of summer, they're starting already to ramp up for the holidays and just want to make sure that they get it all in time. We all know supply chain issues have been very, very difficult in the past, uh, you know, two, three plus years. So uh, they do it very far ahead of time. And and they usually tell us that's what they're ramping up for. Okay. And how, and this is, this is probably like a crazy question. How does the bottleneck of supply chain issues affect the way that seller's funding is able to operate? Do you like, do you see that as causing massive issues, not only for the company, or is it primarily for the, for the, uh, for the Amazon seller? And what's the repercussion? What's like the, the landscape of that? Yeah. So something that we have seen, and it doesn't happen as often, but when people run 100% out of stock, that then there's absolutely no sales for two, three months that could potentially impact how much we can lend them. It doesn't mean we won't be able to. We're going to look at the full picture of the past year. We're going to look at seasonality and we'll look at a few additional features, but um, that could potentially impact how so, how much we would be lending somebody. Uh, however, again, we, we have a very, very uh, good model that will tell you a full story rather than just you ran out of, of sales here. Uh, so that's something that we can do. In addition, we have an interest only period, which we actually started about uh, a year and a half or two years ago, uh, very, very close to the pandemic. We started this interest only option at three months, meaning if somebody needs money, we don't expect you to pay tomorrow, right? Because if you're making an inventory purchase, it's not going to be here tomorrow and your sales won't start rolling in immediately. So we allow you to pay exclusively the interest for up to three months. And in a couple, uh, in an event, Prosper actually last year, 
we started talking to customers and seeing supply chain just was gotten, getting worse and worse and worse. And three months just wasn't cutting it. So we decided to even increase it up to four months. So right now our customers have that option to be able to pay just the interest up to four months on our working capital. So it makes it just a little bit easier and more flexible uh, amount of payments. And then once they have their merchandise, they start selling, they can pay their principal as well. That's pretty cool that you guys have actually listened to the people that are actually reaching out to you and people that you guys currently have on board, finding a working solution to actually resolve it so that they don't default on any kind of payments to you and how this could potentially impact their Amazon business. And I imagine sellers funding, you guys have uh, safety nets in place just in case something like that happens, uh, that you would be able to like seize inventory, things like that. But I'm not going to go down the, the negative aspect of, of that rabbit hole. I, I think one of the most important aspects that probably listeners right now are asking is like, what are the requirements to actually get involved with seller's funding? Absolutely. So, and we do have a proprietary model just to, you know, quickly answer your question that it does take all those factors into consideration. And our default rate is extremely low because in essence, if you grow, we grow, right? So the point is to be able to help customers, not overextend customers. Uh, so that's why we we're not as uh, strict as a bank would be. You know, we are going to be a little bit more uh, different type of parameters because we are working with e-com, uh, but we still want to make sure people won't default and that they will be able to pay for it. Um, and for anybody that's listening that wants to know how they can get some working capital, they do need to have a entity and it doesn't have to be necessarily in the U.S. We do help any customers that have a business entity in the U.S., in the UK, in Canada, or in Australia. Those are the four business entities. Now, where they live, it doesn't matter. Customer can live anywhere, as long as their business entity is registered in any of those four countries. We do require them to have six months minimum of sales history in any marketplace platform. So we work with Walmart, we work with Shopify, we work with Amazon, eBay, pretty much all the major uh, platforms, and you can connect multiple as well. And in addition to that, we're just going to need for you to connect to our platform. It takes about five minutes. Very, very easy, like about five steps. And once you apply, it can take one to two days for you to receive a proposal. It's that easy. It honestly sounds like an extremely fast process. And you guys have it down very airtight. So uh, this is where I want to take this question with you. And I'm pretty sure you have an idea of what I'm going to ask. When it comes to the competitor market space, uh, for financial lending for the entire econ. You have, you have several competitors in, in this marketplace that, that probably you and I are well aware of, RHO, Rex, Ping Pong Payments. Where do you guys stack up in comparison to them? Because I know that with RHO and Rex, they have uh, these unique float periods where they will give you a single day float, 30 uh, day float, 60 day float, 90 day float, or like a quarterly or half year float. And, and depending on that, you can take out as much as you want, as little as you want, and and how that actually stacks up. Where do you guys compare um, into, uh, where do you guys stack yourself up in comparison to those companies? So first, I want to say you did mention a few of competitors, right? But you mentioned some competitors that compete with us in different aspects. So far, we've only really talked about working capital and sellers funding, of course, we provide funding. But we have a full financial suite of services. So we do have foreign exchange, you know, we mentioned uh, one of our competitors that as well does that. So we have uh, a digital wallet that allows you to receive currencies in into your wallet for free directly from marketplaces. So you can receive GBP, Canadian dollars, euros or dollars in, in there and hold that for free in that currency. You only pay when you're ready to actually convert. And you can actually pay your suppliers overseas. We have a, up to 38 currencies that you can actually pay into. And then you can also use it to pay anybody that's uh, you know, a VA or anything of that nature, or you just send the money to your bank. That's one of the things that we have in addition to our funding. Um, another way that we compete with our competitors is we also have the daily advance program for Walmart and Amazon. So basically, instead of you waiting two weeks and sometimes up to a month for Amazon or Walmart to actually pay you when they're holding your funds, we can look at your previous day sales and we can actually advance you between 70 and 90 percent for a very small fee. And we only are going to charge you that small fee based on exactly how much we advance you. So that's another thing. We're very transparent. We don't hide our fees. We upfront will tell you this is how much it's going to be. And you get to actually see it all in your dashboard. So that dashboard makes it really easy. It sounds extremely flexible. And just to give you guys an insight, when it comes to the uh, payment transfer, that would fall under the competitor of ping pong payments primarily. And I've, I've actually chatted with Ryan Kramer. He's a super cool guy. Uh, fantastic, fantastic human being. Love his podcast. Uh, you guys can check that out or 
just keep on watching ours. But uh, when it comes to the other ones, RHO and Brex, that's where these floats come into place. And that's where you guys have these unique propositions that allow people to actually get these advanced payments. And you guys just charge a, a marginal fee on top of that, which again, in, in most cases, I believe that they don't actually do any of that. Anybody from RHO or Brex, um, I know that they're very streamlined with what they have and they're very uh, particular about their products. Uh, I know that with sellers funding, you guys have a unique dashboard and multiple ways that you guys can get advancements in cash flows. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Because I didn't realize that there was a software component when it came to sellers, fund sellers funding. Yeah. So uh, we talked about working capital, right? So the one that we were speaking about was just our straight APR product. That's just one of the ways that you can get money in addition to that daily advance that we mentioned. But we also have a revenue advance program and our revenue advance program is not going to be interest based or APR based. It is just going to be a flat fee taken up front and you'll know exactly how much your payments are every single two weeks, which is what our cadence is. Um, so that revenue advance program does offer a grace period, I believe, up to three months. Uh, same parameters for that. It's very, uh, very simple, very quick that you can apply to. So while you're applying to working capital, you can choose what uh, you answer a couple of questions and see which one is your business use and what's going to be better for you. So we can offer you that uh, interest based and we can offer you that revenue advance, which is just that flat rate. So that's another one that most of our customers are more familiar with, with some of our competitors and just much easier as well. Um, and additional, we also have one new product, which is our invoice factoring. So uh, we're also adding just all the time, we're adding additional ways for you to get money. So you can send invoices and we can pay you in this way. So there's just multiple ways that you can get funded depending on what your business need is. And we are expanding into, in addition to e-com, how else can we help our customers if they expand to other areas of the e-com space? Um, there's even two more products that we have there. We've got uh, on our dashboard seller signals, and it lets you see um, really your sales, your product performance, even evaluation, just a, a full view of, of data that you have access. And currently it's for free. Um, we are kind of testing out how much people like it and use it. So just give us your feedback if you do go on there and tell us how much you like seller signals. And lastly, we've got a prepaid card. So we've got a prepaid card that's a Visa online. And you can use it for any purchase that you're paying online. You can add admins, you can have sub accounts. It just makes it really easy when you're making payments uh, online, which we all know pretty much everything we buy nowadays is online. So in addition to funding, which is I know what we really set out to talk about today, we've got that full suite of products for you to be able to grow your finance, your products in anything financial. Uh, you just did a massive uh dump of information and it's like let's let's break some of it down right so let's let's go through it uh let's go through it product by product right so uh the first thing is the multi-channel aspect this is what i i think is a uh, a wonderful wonderful part of your business how do you guys help sellers expand into multiple marketplaces not just in amazon so we're, we're really thinking multi-channel about this because again we know that you can't put all your eggs in one basket when especially when it comes to amazon uh you really want to diversify because again you are not amazon sellers the people that are listening to us don't consider yourself amazon sellers, you are e-com uh, e entrepreneurs, as I like to call you, right? Um, so with that being uh, with that being the option of uh, you, uh, the way that you guys grow your business, how do you help e-com sellers expand into uh, uh, into other marketplaces like Walmart, Etsy, Shopify, even, even Rakuten, and even South American marketplaces? So one thing that's huge about sellers funding, and this is what's going to answer your question, is that every single person that applies will get assigned an account manager. And we don't have, you know, hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of account managers. We have a great solid sales team, and each one of them is very personalized with uh, the person that's going to be applying. The reason I mentioned this is because when clients are looking to expand to a new country or utilize a new currency on the wallet, or they even want to expand to another marketplace, such as what you're mentioning, they usually ask their account manager because we have amazing partnerships with all sorts of accounts. We have experts in, in the industry that we can refer you to. Um, so that's something that usually we get clients calling us. How do I expand into UK? We have no idea how to start and what can I do? That's something we can help with in addition to helping you expand into a new marketplace. Obviously, having that personal touch gives uh, gives a lot of the uh, uh, the e-com sellers that that ability to move with confidence because that's something that you don't often get, especially with lending services. I can tell you, even with my own bank, 
Uh, I can't even get a hold of my own rep and I still, uh, I still bank in the United States. So it can be kind of challenging at times, especially uh, when you're traveling a lot, but to have that personal touch, knowing that you're working with a team that's actually going to care about you and help you actually expand your business. Because as you mentioned earlier, you said that when the sellers grow, that you guys grow as well. So um, that would be, that's like the perfect symbiotic relationship. Uh, tell us, tell me a little bit more about seller signals and actually let's just go to the prepaid card. I, I think that's pretty interesting right there. Uh, is this, would you classify this as like a debit card, a working uh, working transaction card, or would this be more of like a credit card kind of thing that you guys have? And I imagine that you guys had to put in a lot of energy and effort to get set up on this as well. Very much so. Um, so our prepaid card works in tandem with our digital wallet. There are both free services that you can actually apply to. Um, and once you apply to the prepaid card, something that's really cool is that every single transaction that you make online, and it, it is a virtual card, so it's an online exclusively Visa card, uh, every transaction we give you 1% cash back on. So you can be mitigating um, some of the interest that maybe you're receiving or, or that you're paying elsewhere by getting this 1% back and you get it in cash. So we're not giving you points or we're not giving you miles. We're just giving you money right back into your pocket. I'm glad that you uh, that you threw on that last part, not giving points, not giving miles, not giving reward cards or anything like that, because that can be extremely frustrating. Now you have to do mental gymnastics to figure out how many points do I have and how can I convert this over to that so I can get a two dollar coffee, excuse me, a five dollar coffee at Starbucks or something like that, or maybe 30 cents off on your next tank of gas. So this is beautiful. One percent cash back. Um, and what this sounds like this is doing is that you guys are encouraging people to use the card and then use the card to actually pay off, uh, pay off aspects of their business, whether this is their supply chain, whether this is buying more inventory, taking care of their VAs, handling their advertising, and they're actually going to get a percentage back on that so that they can then continue to grow their business, which is then going to fund, uh, create this, have this flywheel effect where it actually uh, creates additional revenue for sellers funding so they can keep on pulling money out to actually grow their business. Where do you see the, the cutoff at, uh, at, a, at a point in time? Like oftentimes when I, when I, when I get offered, uh, uh, offered lending from, uh, from a bank or just from any kind of service out there, it's, it's not that I actually need the, uh, the money at, uh, at that point in time in something that I could use at a later point in time uh, for my business. Where do you see the the cutoff uh, point where like a business is either too big to actually pull funds out or too small to pull funds out? Um, I wouldn't say that we have a cutoff in that aspect. We do go up to $5 million. So that's something that is really great to know. We can go from $10,000 to $20,000 all the way up to $5 million and you can do multiple draws. However, we will also look if somebody, for example, has additional loans or uh, you know additional money out, it could affect also how much we will be lending to them. So that's kind of like a, a cutoff per se. Uh, but yeah, our, our cutoff in lending would be $5 million. And how does this uh, affect uh, people's transactions with other, other business entities? Because I know that specifically you guys are like kind of siloed in, in your own fashion, uh, specifically for what kind of lending that you guys do. How does this uh, affect if somebody's like default on their, their house payments or other things like that? I think that we do file a UCC filing. So it would just go in order of when that would be filed. That's really how it would operate. But again, you said we're not going down the negative way. Our default rate is quite small. <laughs> So, Ali, I'm going to ask you this. Sellers, uh, sellers funding sounds honestly fantastic for Amazon sellers or e-com sellers that would actively need this service. Uh, you mentioned something earlier in regards to the personal touch that everybody gets an account manager. Obviously, with as long as you guys have been in business and all the funding that you guys have done over the years, the ability to help e-com sellers grow. Tell me a little bit about the success that you guys have seen Amazon sellers have and where it's actually where they where they've started and where they where they've gone with their business. Absolutely. I have an amazing case study. Uh, we had I had a, a, an account that was my account. Actually, we started by funding them just fifty thousand dollars and he continued to pay and continued to draw, continued to pay, continued to draw and got increases along the way because their sales were just growing um, I mean, immensely. Um, they ended up. I think the last loan was about $2 million, finally paid off and successfully exited their business. So it's somebody that started with just a small loan and slowly the impact of their working capital and using it for the right avenues helped them grow their business to a level to be able to successfully exit. So it was really awesome to be able to see that growth and celebrate that growth. Uh, 
another client of ours, uh, we've been able to work with them to com- to complete or become a conglomerate. So now they have multiple brands under their belt and they operate as multiple brands in multiple marketplaces. So we also have many loans out for them of significant amounts. So uh, we can't really mention uh, names, but it's just very exciting to see the growth that the working capital that we are able to provide is, is helping our sellers. And you can actually see it on Trustpilot yourself. So you can go on Trustpilot and look up sellers funding. We have by name, not just our rating. Our rating is fantastic, you know, just gotta gotta say that. But in addition to having a great rating, you can see that account managers are mentioned by name. We don't request that or anything when they receive their their loans. Sometimes they just ask, you know, where can we can we leave a review and they will mention them all by name. So it's it's really cool to see. No, it, it honestly sounds like the success rate that you guys have in the marketplace is phenomenal. And the ability to help people grow is massively changing lives because again, to have somebody start off with potentially a year's worth of salary, taking that out as an advance and then actively growing their business to then be able to get up to $2 million and be able to use that to explode their business growth exponentially. They've really captured the essence of being an e-com seller. And I, I, I can only I can only hope that they got you guys a bottle of champagne and like maybe some strawberries to thank you for all the hard work that you guys have allowed them uh, to, to put in place to continue to grow their business. Obviously, this is a no fault of, uh, of the seller. They put in all the legwork, but the fact that you guys were able to give them the opportunity to grow where their bank probably would have turned them down because they don't meet certain requirements or they have this much in debt or they have all these other other uh, stipulations that they need to, uh, to to get through before they can even get uh, get a smidgen of funds. That right there, it's like what you guys are doing is actively changing lives and you guys should definitely pat yourself on the back for that. So kudos to sellers funding. And, you know, we sorry, we do have like a lot of uh, in-person events we're upcoming. We've got one in New York this weekend and we've got Prosper coming up in March, Carlos Cruz. All of these things is where we get to meet most of the sellers. They know us, uh, you know, our, our faces on some of the emails just so that they put a face to the name of who they're talking to. And they su- they seek us out. You know, you're my account manager and thank you so much. Or they'll ask you questions and we can help them right there at the events. And we, we have been able to build personal and really great relationships with the sellers. So if you guys are coming to any e-com events, reach out to your account managers and, and see if we'll be there. Yeah. And that's that's really beautiful because, again, this is something that I don't often see in the larger corporate America sphere or just in the the macro level, right? Um, Since we're working with these e-com companies, there's not really many faces that you can put with names of companies. And you could say like, this person from this company was able to help me out so much. And if it weren't for them, I don't know where I'd be today. Right. So that's like a, a beautiful aspect because it's taking it's taking this uh, this ethereal corporation and then uh, putting putting a putting an obviously a very beautiful face uh, to it and making sure that there is uh, that there's a human element to it, because at the end of the day, we are people working with people. So might as well actually be able to have a person behind it that we can trust and that we can continue to grow with. And I'm sure that you guys see the success of this and it like invigorates you. Uh, on, on a daily basis, because again, you know, there is a, there is a bit of a grind to this kind of work, but to be able to know that you are actively helping somebody out and you're seeing the the development of their business month over month, year over year, that that is rewarding in and of itself. So absolutely, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, there was one thing that you mentioned earlier that I'd like to touch on, which is the ability to help sellers in other aspects, right? So there's that personal personal aspect to sellers funding, but the ability to tap into a partnership network to allow sellers to grow in unique uh, u- unique ways. Tell me a little bit more about that. Where where are the limitations? Uh, is, is are there actual walls to this network, or do you guys just is it infinite? Absolutely. So our referral or you know partnerships are infinite. We have partners in every type of aspect that you could potentially think about. So whenever somebody is looking at either expanding, like we said, to new marketplaces or looking for a new logistics company or uh, somebody that can help them just automate their listings or advertising, PPCs, any of these things that you could potentially think about, reach out to us. And we do have partners for every aspect of the e-com space. So we can refer you to somebody that we've vetted, that we we don't just want to send you to somebody just because we want to send you to somebody that we trust and that we know will be able to help you grow in the same way that we do and like value as a client in the same way that Seller's Funding does. 
And honestly, this, this sounds like a perfect win-win situation, um, especially in the year 2022 right now, um, because again, we're in Q1 right now. So I imagine that a lot of sellers are looking to branch out. They're looking to explore. They're looking to go down other paths, whether that's growing on Amazon, whether that's expanding into eBay, whether that's expanding into Walmart, fleshing out their, their Shopify store, going into South American marketplaces, exploring other marketplaces, or just um, moving over to, to other, other platforms on Amazon. This is a great way to actually tap into that network, find, uh, find the resources that you need, uh, get the funding that you need to actually grow in these marketplaces. Because again, if you're starting in Canada or if you're starting in Mexico or you're starting in the UK, you're kind of like you're starting over all over again, right? So to be able to actually tap into that network, get the uh, get the funding sources, get your plant your roots, so to speak, and actually start your business from the ground up. This is a beautiful way to break in the new year uh, for yourself. Uh, Ali, tell us a little bit more about Sellers Funding. Where can we find you guys? How can we get a hold of you? Uh, what kind of what kind of unique offer do you uh, that you would be able to provide? If any. So sellersfunding.com is where you can see, you know, in general, all information about our company, about uh, we can see some case studies, including some of the ones that I've mentioned today. Some uh, are anonymous and some actually have the business name and they've uh, agreed to share their story from beginning to end on sellers funding. So check it out. We've got also some blog posts on there. We have uh, some that we've done with partners as well. So we've got a little bit of everything on sellers funding page. And if you're ready to apply sellers funding app, so uh, abbreviation for applications, sellersfundingapp.com is where you can get started. All you have to do is create an account, takes three easy steps, and then apply to any of the products that we talked today. And if you want to reach anybody on our sales team, you can just reach out to sales at sellersfunding.com and my personal email, alexandra at sellersfunding.com. That's it. Simple enough. I'll have all that information in the, in the YouTube video bio. The uh, people that are listening to this on, on, on a podcast right there, just head on over to EliteSeller.com. Uh, go to our resources section, our blog section. You can literally check out our partners page. Uh, Ali is featured on there specifically. All the contact information, all the socials are right over there. You can literally click over to their website or you can head over to SellersFunding.com. That's S-E-L-L-E-R-S-F-U-N-D-I-N-G.com, SellersFunding.com. Um, Ali, you've been a fantastic guest. I really appreciate you coming on the, the Elite Seller Show, providing a ton of value, giving us your experience. And we'll just wrap it up right here. Uh, what, tell me a little bit about your hobbies and then we'll just like close it out because you, you mentioned a couple of those. Yeah. So um, my new hobby, and I just recently took it up, is snowboarding. I tried it for the first time about a week ago, um, going again in a couple of weeks in the Catskills. So a little bit less intense as Utah, which was my first time around, but uh, officially obsessed with snowboarding. I actually have always been a water sports kind of person. And if you're watching, you know, living in Florida and being from Puerto Rico, just water is is really what I've known my whole life. So I've done surfing, kite surfing, uh, paddle boarding, a little bit of, of everything that you can imagine, but uh, kind of the snow is, is pulling me lately. So uh, yeah, that's, that's one of my hobbies. And I'll tell you this, I've, I've spent plenty of time living in Colorado. If whenever you get a chance to go over to Colorado, Ellie, uh, I would head over to Breckenridge. I'd head over to a basin and I would uh, definitely go to Vail because you're going to really bump into some very interesting, uh, phenomenal and beautiful views, as well as some amazing uh, ski locations. So with all that being said, thank you guys for watching the Elite Seller Show. You can check out all the information for Sellers Funding at sellersfunding.com, or you can head over to eliteseller.com forward slash partners, and you can see Sellers Funding right there on the homepage. Uh, you'll be able to actually contact them. This episode will be there. Uh, and we look forward to having you um, join uh, the Elite Seller Army. So uh, yeah, why be average when you can be elite? Thank you for your time. Thank you, Joshua.